Welcome to another Tips and Tricks. Do you need to save and review historical data that you've collected from trend logs? A few ways historical data can be used is to indicate if something is wrong with the equipment or determine energy savings based on consumption. This is incredibly powerful because you can schedule the report to run automatically. This information can be reviewed now or at a later date. An example is if you collect the data today, you can review it a year from now to validate against current performance. We'll start by creating a trend log report. On the left side of the screen, you'll notice a button over here called Reports. We'll now expand the Building Automation section and select Trend Log. I have some already built that I'm going to use for this demonstration. I'm going to pull up Makeup Air Unit 1 Trends without the roll-up feature. This is the format that you would have to fill out to put together this trend log report. The report name I used is MAU1 Trends No Roll-Up, which means I want the data directly from the trend log. Then I select the trend logs that I want the data from. I put those inside here. Note that you have the option to do up to eight trends. For the date configuration, I'll use the range of data from today's date or I've got other options like creating a custom one where I can give it a window of time. I can do the previous two days, this week, previous week, previous seven days. There are many options. Month to date, previous month, year to date, current year, and previous year. This is a powerful tool for analyzing data over a long period of time. This report is now operational. You could label the Y1 axis and the Y2 axis if you so desired, or you can select sample roll-up as an option. I have that put together on another report that I'll show you in just a few minutes. Now we're going to run the report. You'll notice it's generating the files from the trend logs, and now it's loading the data. Now that we have our report, let's take a look at the history. You can see where this has been run a couple of times. I could select either one of these dates and see what my data was some time ago. Here's one that I ran at 11.15 and another from 7.29 this morning. Or I can delete those out of my history. Another nice thing about this trend log report is that you can save it in an XLS format, PDF, PowerPoint, or as a Word document. To give you an example of how useful this is, I will select the PowerPoint option. Notice that it created the PowerPoint in the lower left of the screen. I'm now going to open the PowerPoint and you'll see that the PowerPoint is fully constructed and ready for display. You have the graph on the first page and then all of your tabular data to support these trend logs is now identified as different slides for the PowerPoint presentation. It takes the work out of work. This concludes our tips and tricks for today. Please subscribe to follow us on YouTube. If you would like more content like this, let us know in the comments below.